getting up early on a Saturday morning takes extra effort. Throw in cold temperatures and a constant drizzle and it's even harder. Then imagine your schedule says, this is the day you signed up for a triathlon. You need a tank top or a long sleeve shirt or a jacket or a waterproof. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm only out here because my buddy talks me into doing this. Talked into seven miles of kayaking, three miles of running, and 11 of biking. Sound fun? <laughs> we do all these things separate. We bike and we, we run, run and we, we paddle. paddle. So why not a triathlon? <laughs> why not? Well, because most of the people here aren't even close to qualify. I haven't ridden a bike in about 20 years, <laughs> so I'm expecting to get really cut up and hurt. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> I'm thinking, don't tip over. Stay dry and stay warm and get ready to get on the run and bike. In other words, no Guinness Book of Records are in danger today. Here at the Harpeth Hustle. We're just going to have a good time for a good cause. That cause is why they're all here. The beauty of the Harpeth River and its surrounding. Their outdoor efforts raise money to support Harpeth River State Park and preserve its Middle Tennessee River. And just improve what has already been built for us. It's a beautiful place, but it, it can always be better. If you stop and you get stagnant, it's just gonna deteriorate. I'm gonna make that not happen. The pre-race routine isn't pressure packed for everyone. Ron Wright and Kelly Alberton have done these before. Saving the energy so that we can make the race. I know, we just enjoy it, it's just fun. The race now is to the river. Hop in your kayak and head downstream. In just a few minutes, your paddle will discover peace and quiet out here. As crummy and ugly as it looked earlier, look at things now out on the river. It's peaceful and calm, and really, this is the reason they're out here. They're doing seven miles on one of the prettiest rivers in the state. They go by some historic areas that they probably won't even know are there unless they come back to visit later, and that's what we hope, is they'll come back and visit us and see some of the history of the area. This is a very valuable natural resource, so to protect the park and to, to have these folks celebrating that and supporting the park in this way, uh, it's a wonderful thing. Wonderful too, the greeting party for the first finishers on the river. A small flock of ducks who embrace Tennessee's land, water, and air every day. Just a beautiful fall day, very calm, good scenery. It was a nice paddle. Was that the hardest part, do you think? Uh, I don't know, now that I got wet shoes, it'll probably be the running that'll uh, <laughs> be the hardest part. No time to talk for the trophy competitors, plenty of time for the post-race eaters. Just looking to uh, get to the end before all the hot dogs are gone. And always time for some comedy. We were going so fast, we wanted people to know that we were coming into shore. Ships coming, Ships into coming shore. in. Good job, guys. You'll turn around at the water station and then head back this way. The piled up park canoes on land don't signal it's time to go fishing. Now the running race is on. Three miles of puffing, of pretty, and prayer. The hills of Tennessee isn't just a tourist bureau slogan. Out here and isolated is where that running shoe rubber hits the back roads. Even out of town visitors are discovering the natural beauty. Tennessee has a lot to offer and from people in Louisiana, everybody wants to come visit me because it's just like, man, we didn't realize that all existed out there. <laughs> We're getting ready to do our bike. It's been so fun so far. The final leg, where two legs come into play. As nice as the sights along the road are, for the bikers, 11 miles of pedaling is a grind. The finish line here is a happy, out of breath moment. Don't underestimate the hills if you come out, because they're tough. The river's flat, but the hills are not. Uh, good race, though. Definitely worth it. If you were wondering, Andy Brown did finish in time for hot dogs. No need for mustard. The spice of life here today was Tennessee. I'm Terry Bulger on the Wild Side.